Welcome to Bible Bears. Today we are talking about Christians who have donated to the cause of ending the coronavirus pandemic. At least that's what I was going to talk about today, but then I thought about why not give credit to where credit is due and include in this post all the generous atheist dirtbags too. Oh, well that will get you commenting below, won't it? I'm only kidding, of course. Atheists aren't generous. But seriously, I haven't seen America unite like this since 9-11, and the outpouring of generosity has been marvelous. True, Christians and churches have been rolling up their sleeves, but so have the so-called self-absorbed Hollywood elites and the even more evil capitalist CEOs. Whoops, wrong picture. That's better. Listen, we don't like tragedies, and avoiding this one would have been grand. Did you hear that, China? Avoiding this one would have been grand. But events like these are similar to all the Who's having their presence taken away. And our tiny, shriveled, selfish hearts suddenly break through all the blockages and pump love and charity. C.S. Lewis said it brilliantly. Pain insists on being attended to. God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. No doubt pain as God's megaphone is a terrible instrument. It may lead to final and unrepented rebellion, but it gives the only opportunity the bad man can have for amendment. It removes the veil. It plants the flag of truth within the fortress of the rebel soul. Good grief, he is such a great writer. God has shouted and we have listened. An anchor on MSNBC actually asked Pastor T.D. Jakes to pray. On air. On MSNBC. That's like Richard Dawkins taking communion. The Holy Spirit, which God has given to all of us, is shouting. And many, whether they admit to being a Christian or not, are answering the call. I start with Tyler Perry, star of the Medea movies. Not one of which I have actually seen. You know, I, I got to tell you, I, I love those movies. I bought a box set at Walmart, and if I can laugh and pray in 90 minutes, that is money well spent. Perry grabbed a to-go order from a favorite spot in Atlanta and left a $500 tip for everyone on staff, which totaled $21,000. Also, in an effort to help everyone feel better, he sang on his Instagram channel, He's got the whole world in his hands, and he challenged others to add to it. He added, to me, this song is a prayer of humility. It's telling the whole world how small we really are in all of this, and how we have to trust that it's all in God's hands. The list of celebrity support continues. Kristen Bell donated $150,007.96 to No Kid Hungry. The uneven number is because her children also donated money. $7.96? Evidently, mommy's frozen checks aren't trickling down to her kids' piggy banks. Cleveland Cavalier Kevin Love donated $100,000 to support arena staff who've been laid off after the NBA season was postponed. Donatella and Allegra Versace donated over $213,000 to a hospital in Milan. Gwyneth Paltrow donated $100,000 to the Frontline Responders Fund, while Schwarzenegger kicked in a million to the same fund. Blake Lively and her husband Deadpool donated $1 million to the Feeding America Fund and $1 million to Food Banks Canada. Rihanna and Jay-Z, through their foundations, each donated $1 million to coronavirus efforts. And Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner donated $1 million to buy protective equipment for healthcare workers. Companies such as Johnson & Johnson, Salesforce.com, Apple, and Facebook have donated hundreds of thousands of masks to the relief effort. And MGM Resorts has donated over 480,000 pounds of food to food banks across the country. On top of all this, Ralph Lauren will be donating $10 million to the relief effort. 10 million. You guys, all of you, from those who have donated $10 all the way up to the people who have donated $10 million are awesome. Truly. But as great as all that sounds, 
This is what the world's richest man thinks of your donations. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be a bad pun. You be and then quiet. disclosure. Just <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> That's really good. A guy like yeah, nerd. That's because Jeff Bezos donated one hundred million dollars to Feeding America, saying, "Feeding America will quickly distribute the funds to their national network of food banks and food pantries, getting food to those countless families who need it." One hundred million. Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? For those of you who may think your contributions are insignificant, I'm looking at you, Kristen Bell's children. Don't. Some people give a little from a lot, and some people give a lot from a little. The Gospel of Mark illustrates this well. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. So what's the meaning of all this? The point is, that $7.96 that Kristen Bell's children donated might be all they had. Really, Mom? You were the voice of Anna. And yet, they gave a lot from a little. And the Lord sees this. We are living in troubling times. But no matter how down we get, we all have a little something to give. Thank you, Christians. Thank you, Jews. Thank you, atheists. Thank you to all who have contributed to our world's health. That's all we have for today. If you like that video, go ahead and share it. Hit the subscribe button. You know what? You guys are pros. You know what to do. Thank you very much. We love you. Have a blessed day and have a blessed week.